Hey everybody, welcome back to uh, Thrasher's Ghetto Fab. Working on Ron Burgundy today, my 67 Fairlane wagon. And uh, let me show you what, uh, what we've been doing here. So, I'm gonna get the, uh, the floors cleaned up and just, I'm gonna coat them in uh, something to seal everything in. So, as clean as this car was, it did have a few rot spots in it. So, there was rot here. Um, there's a brace up underneath here and just shit must have got in there and it rotted from the upside through. So, I placed all this back in. I'll throw a couple images up here how I did that. It said it's just simple cut, cut, you know, paste like I always do. So, I cut everything out and welded all those back in. I still have to do something with my tunnel here. Um, these fours here, the window did leak a little bit and they're a little soft, but if this was a show car or something, I'd probably put new four pans in it, but it's not. So we're just, just going to do some, uh, clean them up with a rust encapsulator and just call that good. Same thing over there. I should have replaced that one. Uh, we've cleaned the floors up in here. Going to do a little touch up here with some, uh, uh, seam sealer just to clean that up. Yeah, but, uh, Amy's been helping me. We got the floors all cleaned up, everything ready to go. Show you back here. So back here, and I'll throw an image up here. Um, this was a little, I said it wasn't crusty or nasty or anything like that, but it was just, you know, a lot of surface rust and stuff like that from everything sitting in here. There was a couple spots right in here. Again, I'll throw a couple images up that were the same thing where it rusted from the outside in. Those are like there's a bracket on the welder on the back of there. Um, for the, if it had the third row seat, that would, you know, the flip up seat here, that would, you know, mount right there. So for, you know, bottle the brackets in, obviously, and then put plugs in there. And then, like I said, it just rotted out behind there. So I did, I fixed that real quick, welded that up, and then uh, went and put some uh, rust encapsulated primer on here already, you can see. And then, let's see, the last piece here, I'll just show you this, is down in here. Uh, the spare well tire here i got a piece welded here this is not quite done at the moment uh, but what i'm going to do is i'm going to i'm going to set the camera up here and we are going to um, do the bed liner here on everything just as i said just a sort of sound deadener and get everything kind of tied in and just protect everything um because i want to make sure this car lasts for a while so like i said i do drive this thing daily when the weather is nice um so just want to seal everything in it's a little sound deadener Make it look nice back here. You know, we're gonna go to a party, put some beer back here with some ice and make it look nice when we open that up. So let's set the camera up and we're gonna get this coated. Okay, so I think we're uh, ready to go here. It's clean. A little extra seam sealing there. Got uh, all the primer done back there, as you can see. Everything seems to be sealed in real well. So we're gonna get uh, set up here and go. Uh, we got this. What we're gonna go with here. We got the uh, got this at uh, Harbor Freight and uh, it's just a, it's a bed coating. I said I think it, it, it dries nice and hard. I used this once before on my uh, 34 pickup on the floorboards on the underneath, and it uh, dries hard. A little texture kind of covers up some of the. Some of the sins of an old car, and uh, I said I think it's going to be just fine. I said no one's ever going to see this, but I just figured it's going to be, like I said, sealed everything in, except for that hardware back there. I said I want to make sure that that seals in nice and looks decent when you open that uh, that cargo area up. So get the camera set up here, and uh, we're going to get this coated.
just want me to get that cut out uh, carefully, hopefully. This is kind of the big mess hole we're stuck with here. Uh, like I said, this was for the, you know, the original three speed, four speed top loaders, whatever they were. And then, you know, they have the shifter, like the external shifter on the side. But, you know, to make this fit, you know, I could have done a lot of work, um, you know, to this piece. I didn't really see the issue to, but the reason I cut it out like I did is I just, if, I mean, I'm not going to butt weld this in. You're probably saying, oh, Thresh, you always butt weld everything in. And I do on, you know, 34, or whatever, but this is, or excuse me, 32, you know, this carburetor is going to do just like Ford did. Um, I don't see any reason not to. We're going to, you know, mount this right on top and we're going to uh, spot weld it in and uh, seam seal everything. And this, you know, should be just exactly how Ford did it, you know, 50, almost 58 years ago. Yeah. This car was built uh, just about now, 58 years ago, 66. So, anyways. This is going to, you know, mount on here. I did a little tweaking there uh, on the bench. Just kind of hammered this in a little bit. Fits really, really nice. We're going to screw it back down and uh, put a couple clamps in here. I should be able to get some vice grips in here. Pull this up real nice and tight. And we're just going to burn this in, just like I said, just like a different factory. And I think that works out, I mean, really nice. And this has been a really easy T5 swap. Um, I'm going to do another video that shows, you know, how you do this. But it is about as straightforward and easy as you can get so let me get the camera set up and uh we'll get this uh this piece burned in to uh, finish this coating that I wanted to do. I kind of did this in stages, like I said. I just wanted to get some, uh, get the coating down here. So the last part I'm working on here tonight, and I'll get the camera set up and just uh, do a fast motion on this, is this is the factory uh, floor piece for a Fairlane that had a floor shift in it. Um, and it actually works out, I mean, almost perfectly. And it is, you know, maybe just a touch to the driver's side more than it should be, but um, it works. Yeah, it's it's amazing. I was gonna make all this piece, and I went online, and I just found it, and I took the uh, chance that it would actually fit. And you can see it. it's you know it's screwed down. Had to do a little hammer in here to make it tight, but um, it's great. So I'm gonna get the camera set up here, scribe a line on here, cut it out. Uh, I'm gonna use my inserts. I like to use my nut inserts, inserts, whatever they are, threaded inserts. On the uh, you know put them in here for the boot. Don't worry about anything stripping out. Uh, the boot is a little tighter than I'd like, but uh, I think it'd be just fine. So yeah, let me get this uh, set up and let me get this finished.
I'm going to go ahead and uh, wrap this video up, but I did want to show the, uh, the finished product here first, everybody. And you can see um, the uh, floor shift tunnel piece there is uh, spot welded in, seam sealed, and uh, the front uh, floors here are all coated with the, uh, the bed liner, and everything else on the floor is fixed. Um, there, you know, there was a spot here that was rotted over there, um, and then it's a back's all coated also, as you can see. And uh, I fixed the spare tire well, and that was it for the floor. Uh, torque box um, is a little bit uh, soft too. I did cut that out, and uh, I'll get that up on the next video. Which the uh, next video, which is a little sneak peek here, is going to be some subframe connectors for this car. But uh, that's it for this one, and that just gets us one step closer to the uh, the new motor in here, and transmission, interior, and everything to uh, get this car just freshened up and make a good driver out of it. All right, guys, I want to say uh, thanks for watching this video on the wagon, and uh, we're going to keep them coming here. And this is going to move pretty fast, I think. So, and again, thanks for watching Thrasher's Ghetto Fab, and uh, we'll see you next time.